Yo, what's up, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to a brand new video. Now, today we're going to be discussing the Game of Thrones finale, season 8, episode 6. Now, as you can tell by my voice, I am very depressed. Let's just start off with saying my overall thoughts of, of, of the season and of the episode, of, especially of this. I, I thought everything was pretty good up until this final episode. I'm going to be honest, it was disappointing. Throughout all the season, I've seen people complaining and complaining about how it's sad, disappointing, and I never really agreed with them. I thought it was fine. I loved it. Until this final episode, I feel I see the people's pain now. That was the most depressing, saddest, terrible, awful, most garbage way to end the best show of all time, in my opinion. I'm sorry if you feel another way, but that was just terrible. I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't think I would feel like this. I thought it would end on a good note, but that was just, that was awful, man. Jesus. But let's start off with a breakdown before I get more depressed. And I'm only going to be talking about the main topics. I don't want to talk about literally every little tiny scene that's useless. I'm talking about the main stuff. Number one, let's talk about John killing Danny. Now, I'm going to be honest. They kind of fooled me there. Uh, when they started kissing and he's, 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 he said the same thing he's been saying for every episode in season 8. You're my queen. She is my queen. I thought, not again, dude. Not after Tyrion told you what he said. You're going to do this shit, garbage stuff again about she, you're my queen. And then I hear the nice sound, and then I hear her gasp, and I just, I, I was, I, I didn't know what to say, I was shocked, that was insane, just beautiful, I, I, I don't know why, but I kind of expected her to die another way, I feel like that, that was a little bit, I don't know if it was rushed, I, I don't know, it, it just feels weird, if, if, I feel like everything happened really fast, like from the first episode of season 8 to the f season 6 finale, or, or season, uh, the final episode, episode 6 finale, it just happened so quick, but yeah guys, she dies, she has blood coming out her nose, blood coming out her mouth, and she just, John kills her with a little dagger, and my prediction was right, she did end up dying to Jon Snow, and then we see Drogon carrying her away, which was also pretty sad, but yeah, let me know what you guys think about that scene. Moving on, we have probably, this is where I just got pissed. This is where everything went downhill from here. I thought the show was great. We got a time jump, almost. It, unless I skipped over an episode, we got a time jump from from the time John killed Danny to to where Tyrion gets released from jail or whatever prison. And they st and they start selecting a new king slash queen, and they motherfucking pick Bran Stark. What in the fuck was that? The, the soulless, emotionless kid it gets picked as king king it, guys i don't even know what to say i'm so mad that was so depressing we're never gonna see another game of thrones episode that was the final one we saw just let that sink in for a second they picked bran as the king of the seven king well king of the six kingdoms since the, the north declared independence sansa declared independence and now she's queen of the north that's just, like uh, bran being king uh, I said that in my previous video, I said that in the comments replying to people, I did not want to see Bran being king, that was terrible, the, 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 the time jump that they had with Jon Snow was just terrible. Also Tyrion says that the the new way of picking kings is going to be they elect them, you can no longer be born into like the throne I guess, which is really cool, it's pretty much how it is how it is right now, you just select a president every four years in the United States, so that's so that's more fair I guess, they're going to elect a new, a new uh, ruler every, like once the new one dies. I guess so yeah my thoughts on that Brandon being king that was just I'm depressed that was terrible I'm sorry now this is probably what pushed me to the edge this is probably what may be the most mad and is John returning to the Night's Watch and I guess he was held prisoner for killing Danny I don't know how they really went because it was a time jump terrible time jump literally like they only have six episodes a season and they want to do a time jump and leave unanswered questions like, what the fuck Wh what are they thinking so yeah John returns to the Night's Watch he doesn't become king like what like, how are they going to miss that opportunity? They've been, they, all this time that he announces King for seven seasons, eight seasons, they, like, it's been a mystery. And now it's solved. And he just goes back to being the same. It's like every everyone's character arcs just did a 360 and they're back to where they started. That is so depressing. Just just a depressing scene. They, they just ruined Jon Snow. The, all he said this season was, you were my queen. Like, and it, that was a highlight of him at the end to just throw him away and put him back to the night's watch and then they said they couldn't do anything like what 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 is this time jump what do they all mean this is what is this show what happened to this let's move on to the final scene the ending of game of thrones so sad we see uh john saying goodbye to Arya, sansa and bran 
It was pretty sad. Arya's obviously going to go to the west to explore the west of Westeros to see what there is. At the end, she's on the ship. She's leaving. And then we get Sansa seeing put on the on the, on the the little throne. She gets the, 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 the fake Iron Throne, I guess. She's Queen of the North. And that's pretty cool, too. And then we cut to Jon. And then he's with Tormund. And they're beyond the wall. And they're just... That's how the show ends. It's just beyond the wall. The wildlings and Jon just walking. How the fuck can you... How... How did the writers have two years to come up with this and they end the show with John in going into the woods with wildlings? What the f guys? I'm, I've never shown this ex much expression, but listen, what was that? I feel betrayed. I feel I feel depressed. Like I, I, I don't know. But overall, I think this. I feel like this final episode was rushed. People saying season eight was rushed. I feel like this final episode was rushed. I feel like there needed to be ten episodes this season at least. Uh, I don't know. I just I'm depressed. That was just. Um. But yeah, guys, let me know what you guys thought of all these scenes that I talked about in this video. Let me know what you thought about the end. Let me know what you thought about this episode. Let me know what you thought about season eight and Game of Thrones. I feel like it definitely could have been ended better. I'm gonna make more videos about this episode. I'm gonna make more videos about this soon tomorrow. Make sure to uh, make sure to uh, stick around. But yeah, guys, for now I'm gonna be dip more depressed, and uh, I'll catch you guys later in the next video. Goodbye.